Hello everybody, I'm Severus Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Walgreens exclusive Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege Deluxe Class Ratchet. And uh, yeah, I know one of these two accessories is supposed to go into his little rocket launcher on his back, but for this, uh, for this opening I'd rather just show you guys uh, the three different accessories. But nonetheless, um, this figure came out of, I want to say, fall of last year. Some people required it back in January and uh, have loved it ever since. This is an amazing figure. Um, now, I do have the Earthrise version that came in the mail the other day, but uh, I will say this. The Siege one has a lot more accessories and details than the Earthrise, so if you're debating on which one to get, if you're more of an Earth-based guy, you're going to get the Earthrise. If you're more of a, you know, I don't really care kind of guy, I don't care if it's Earth or Cybertronian alt mode based, then you're going to get this. But I am going to say this, this one to me has better paint apps, better accessories, and um, has an overall better head sculpt as well. Um, not knocking the Earthrise, but the Earthrise is kind of a letdown in terms of paint apps and uh, highlighting little details here and there. But that's going to be based on his review. But other than that, I love the figure. I will say that. Other than all those nitpicks that I have with the Earthrise, I, uh, I still really love the figure. But nonetheless, here is Ratchet trying to repair our beloved leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime. So, let me go ahead and get Prime out of the way. He's not dead, he's just wounded. He got shot too many times. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so here is Ratchet. And um, he doesn't come with this blast effect. Um, so yeah, Ratchet is a $20 deluxe class Walgreens exclusive. Um, he was pretty easy to get a hold of um, in, instead of Blue Streak. <sighs> mm. Blue Streak was a pain in the ass. He's still a pain in the ass to get. I don't even have the Earthrise Blue Streak, but this guy was relatively much easier to get a hold of. And I remember going on Walgreens' website and I just looked up Transformers. This guy popped up. So I decided, you know what? $20, I'll get him. A few days later, he shipped right to my home, and here he is. So, yay. I actually really, really like this figure a lot. Um, but nonetheless, um, Ratchet here has some very nice red highlights. Um, the paint apps are really nice. Nice silver on the accessories. And here's a better look at him. Here's his little welding or uh, pistol. Looks really good. This end here is painted silver, while this end here is painted white, so they are they're white plastic but painted silver. Very nice. Here is his wrench. Very nice as well. Um, I really wish these accessories came with the Earthrise. It would have been so nice. And then of course, this is more I think of Ironhide's thing. I don't remember ever Ratchet using this in the G1 cartoon, but uh, something similar of the style. Now, if I put the wrench on, if I put the wrench on, and I put it up against his shoulder, right here, then I guess this is supposed to homage his welding or repairing or something kind of similar tool from Animated. Um, if you guys remember, there was a little scene where Ratchet had this kind of style. He had this like crane thing that came off of his uh, um, at, off his shoulder, and it looked something like this. Um, but uh, I will say that it does remind me of that kind of uh, tool they used in the animated show. And for the rest of the. Sh the rest of the episode, I'll just have him back here. Have him holding the rifle, I guess. And, and this is also cool. You can just you can just interchange whatever weapon you want in this rocket launcher. You know, either way, which is nice. 
So for quick size comparisons, here is Siege Ratchet next to Warper Cybertron, uh, I mean Siege Optimus Prime and Earthrise Cliffjumper, because these two were the only ones that are available next to me. Everyone else is on the top shelf behind me, but uh, yeah, I mean I think this whole scaling thing they're, that they started off with Studio Series was decent, but I think the way they're doing it with Earthrise and the Warper Cybertron trilogy, this is nice. Like this is nice scaling here, even yeah, because. Ratchet should be up at least to Optimus's chest or torso. Cliffjumper should be up at least to Ratchet's waist. This is definitely a great size comparison scaling, and I'm loving it. And, oh, mmm, it's juicy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw a knockout reference there. <laughs> Alright, since there's your little bit of size comparison there, I would have grabbed Ironhide for it, but I blatantly forgot so i apologize but i promise when i get the earth rise iron high and the uh, uh which he's coming in tomorrow i promise i'll do a size comparison between um siege ratchet siege iron high and earth rise iron high and earth rise ratchet i promise i'll do something like that but to transform him go ahead and remove all of his accessories and then just pop him off to the side now, the Transform Ratchet is um, pretty much the same as Ironhide. Actually, very much the same. So, I'm not going to show you a step-by-step -step process. I'm going to try and just get her done. Alright. Just pop that into place. Rotate this 180, collapse that bit up, and then you just you tab these, swing these out, swing this out. Hey, no, all right, <clears throat> you go and collapse this, push this. I believe these tab in down here. Go ahead and collapse these up, and then tab these into place, and then there you have Earthrise, uh, Earthrise, yeah, yeah, Earthrise, Siege Ratchet in his alt mode, and they did do quite a bit of remolding, like the whole front section here is completely remolded, the shoulders I forgot to mention in robot mode are remolded as well, um, they're supposed to emote the light bars, which is really cool. This is really, really nice, and I'm loving this. I really do like this alt mode. Despite the freaking feet on the back of the truck. And I and I do have um I do have some words. These also um are on the back of the earth rise, which is uh, but hey, it is what it is. I think this looks really good for a Cybertronian ambulance. Uh, I'm definitely getting some War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron vibes when I look at this car or the Cybertronian truck. It's, it's just, it's awesome and I like it. Now for weapon storage. Um, okay. There is a way to make it sit flush. What you want to do is turn it like this, and then you can peg it in just like that. You got to make sure that this bit is taller than, okay, I'll show you. Alright, this peg here is longer than the other. So since you can kind of see it, this part is higher, this part is a little lower. So the lower part has the the longer peg and the taller part is the shorter peg so then you could even though it's kind of useless at this point but in a way it's kind of not if you just think about it you could make it look like an electric train or something you could twist it around have it be in attack mode i mean you could make it look like freaking pinchy from thomas and friends I if anyone's seen the Magic Railroad, um, uh, Thomas and Friends, you'll, you'll get that reference. But 
Um, and the gun you can just store on the side here, of course. I have another little pistol rifle or whatever. But yeah, um, there is Siege Ratchet in his alt mode, and I do have an alt mode comparison. Here he is next to the Paradon Medic 2 Pack Lifeline figure. So this this is a <laughs> an early early uh, reference to what will be become you know a review at some point. So yeah, I think the scale is really nice. I mean, this is really good. You know, a little sports car, so a truck. Yeah, guys, um, thank you all for watching. This has been Transformers War for, Cy War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege Ratchet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as I did making it. Please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. Let's get to 300, 300 subs, please. 300 subs. That's all I asked for, 300 subs. And then, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in a while. Or in the next video review. God, I'm going crazy today.